Hello and welcome to Space Shark Teaches. I'm Sean from Space Shark Studios and I'm here to teach you GD Script in Godot 3.1. Let's get started. First off, let's talk about Godot. It's the engine you've chosen and it's the engine that I'm going to be making this tutorial series in, so we might as well learn a little bit about it. So it's a, first off, it's an open source game engine, which means that there are a lot of people all around the world that are constantly adding to the code and trying to make it better. Um, it's free to use. The license is free, which means any games that you make on it are going to be for you. Um, you don't have to pay Godot anything, but giving back up here when you become successful would really do to help continue the project. So we have quite a few really fun things they have. We're not going to be using the 3D graphics as much as the 2D. Um, so they have some great features for 2D work. They have some animations. They have a whole bunch of different scripting languages. We are, of course, going to be using GD Script for this tutorial series. Um, you can look at our other tutorial series if you're interested in learning visual scripting. And if you have more scripting experience with, say, C Sharp or C++, or there are even some people that are trying to support other languages like Python, then go ahead and give those a whirl as well. But before you can do any of that, of course, you need to download it. So you can get Godot from its website. There are multiple versions. Um, as well as if you want to get it on itch using itch's built-in client or uh, desktop client or Also on steam and steam will keep you up to date on the newest version This tutorial series is going to be using version 3.1 um, in this case 3.1 So I recommend if you're going to be using this tutorial series uh, be wary of the Steam version because it will update you to 3.2 automatically whenever that comes out. I assume the itch version does as well. If you are not on Windows, if you are on Mac or Linux, then everything should transform over because it's available on all sorts of different things. It just auto found my Windows here. So you can see Linux, Macs, Mac OS, and uh, servers. So once you have that downloaded, you will get a zip file. The zip file inside will contain the exe that we're going to be using. Just go ahead and copy that exe or drag it out onto your desktop or wherever you want to hold it and double click. It starts up and it's that easy. So really there is nothing else for you to have to do. You just download it, you unzip it, it's portable, you can stick it on a thumb drive and take it wherever you want. That's it, that easy. Um, in the next lesson, we're gonna teach you how to either use a template or create your first game, and then moving on to there, how to add things to your game. Thank you for watching Space Shark Teaches. If you'd like to see more, please subscribe to the channel and remember to click the bell to always stay up to date. Please also join us on our Discord, linked in the comments, and check out our other videos if you ever want to see what else we've been up to. Thanks again for watching, and we can't wait to see what you make.